In this video, we will have a look at the business events. This is where you can connect your email templates to certain events, such as custom account has been registered or orders received. In addition, you can also add rules to these events, so you can really control which email is to be sent on which event and under which conditions. But to see how this works, we will have a look into our admin now. Starting from the dashboard, you can find our business events in the settings to the left and on the top right, business events, you know, these shop settings. Just clicking on that uh, reveals the business events list. This is all where all the default business events are stored and uh, you, you have a basic overview of all events and uh, which email templates are assigned to that. So here on the left, you can see the name of the event, which would be guest account registered with double opt-in or the technical name checkout.customer.double underscore opt underscore in and so on. You can also set a title if you want. This is for internal use, for better overview for yourself. You can add sales channel specific uh, business events and also apply rules to these business events. But to see how this works, we can just click on add business event to add a new one. For our new business event, we will use an example. Just uh, let's say we want customers who pay their orders with paid in advance uh, should get a different order confirmation than in uh, every other customers. So we uh, start, of course, with the title and fill our name. This is for internal use, for better overview, of course. And we say order confirmation paid in advance, for example. We set it on active because we want it to work and select our event. This is uh, very crucial. This is all the events, uh, the email template is triggered on and we want an order confirmation. So our uh, we can just search for order and our event would be order placed or the technical name checkout.order.placed. We select the business event and we go on with the email template. If you already have an email, email template, you can just search for it and uh, yeah, select it. But we do not have one right now, so we just uh, jump in the email templates and uh, have a look on the email templates. For this, you can go again to settings and here on the left, select email templates. Here you can see a list of all the email templates there are in Shopware. And if you want to create a completely new one, you can click on add and select add email template. But we want, uh, just want to customize or modify the order confirmation. So we choose the order confirmation, three dots, and click on duplicate. This just creates a copy of the order confirmation and we can fill in our description to yeah, just say that this is paid in advanced. And we can go on to yeah, modify our confirmation text uh, as we like and just change the text a little bit. And of course, don't forget to save on the top right. Back in the business event, we can now select our email template. You can just search for the title we gave it and choose here painted in advanced, which is an order confirmation. So we select that email template and we also assign a sales channel to it which would be our user training sales channel. And now there's the rule field. Uh, here you can choose under which circumstances, under which conditions uh, this uh, event is active. And here we also, I also created a rule in before, which is paid in advance. This rule just uses uh, the condition that the payment method is one of paid in advance. So right, just don't forget to save the uh, business event if you have filled out every field. The last section uh, are the email recipients. Here you can add alternative uh, recipients to this uh, business event. But be careful if you fill in uh, email recipients, the customer mails are suspended. So it's either you and your uh, yeah, alternative recipients or the customer emails. If you want both, so let's say the customer should get an order confirmation and you want a copy of that to your business email, you can just create two business events, one without email recipients and one with your business email as an email recipient. So that's that. Yeah. Don't forget to save again and you can go back to the business events list. And now it's just one important step for our example. Uh, we said that uh, every customer who uses uh, the payment method uh, paid in advance should get a different order confirmation for his order. But uh, right now they are actually getting two emails because uh, the default order confirmation is still working for them. 
So we're going to change that and click on order placed, which is the default business event for the orders or the order confirmation. And we can select a rule. I already created one which is not paid in advance. And uh, this rule features the condition uh, payment method is none of paid in advance. So this just exclude, ev excludes every customer uh, who uses this payment method from the standard uh, order placed business event. We save this and go back to the overview. And here you can now see two order placed events. One is for every uh, everybody, but except customers who use uh, this payment method. And one is our custom paid in advance order confirmation for these customers specifically. To round this up, we will also have a look on the after order payment process uh, in Shopify 6. So if you want to map an email template on a business event, which is um, here, a payment status, for example, like failed, uh, you need to understand how the order process in Shopify works uh, in order to do that. So um, yeah, in Shopify 6, the payment and the ordering are completely separate. And this means uh, that if a customer hits the submit order button in the order slash checkout area, uh, the order is created anyway, so regardless of the payment state. And if the user uses uh, yeah, PayPal, for example, or any other digital payment provider, and the payment fails for whatever reason, uh, the order is created anyway, so he can or yeah, he can go to his account and uh, restart the payment process or even change the payment method. And now we will have a look on the customer's perspective on this. Uh, I'm in my customer account right now. Here I have my last order, which is still open. And as long as it is open, uh, just not like finished, completed or failed, I can still edit my payment uh, information. So I click on the three dots and change payment method. If I click this, I am coming to the, uh, yeah, oh, to the checkout page, which is titled complete payment now. And here I'm able to just update or complete my payment which uh, with the payment method I just choose or I change the uh, the payment method to invoice for example and then I could complete my payment and if I do this the final page would be thank you for updating your order and the payment information was now updated to invoice in my example here and yeah, I can now pay my order.